Now let's start with the chapter and as I said we will be talking about England, America and in India Bengal. So first of all let's start with England and modern agriculture in England. On 1st June 1830 a farmer found that his barn and haystack had been reduced to ashes. On 28th August 1830 a farmer found his threshing machine broken into pieces and at many places such incidents were reported. They also received threatening letters signed under the mythic name of Captain Swing. Now, who were the people who were actually sending these threatening letters? Why were they against the threshing machines? What was happening? And why were the peasants or the farmers actually taking up all this? This is a story that we are going to learn about in the chapter. Now, if you look at the history of agriculture in England, you will see that before the late 18th century and at the beginning of the 19th century, we see that the people actually in the countryside that is in the village had open fields that is it was common for everybody that everybody used to get some strips of land for agriculture for the year and it used to be allocated in such a manner that it was a mixture of both good and the bad land for the year. So everybody had access to land. There were also common land where the people grazed their cattle, did the fishing, collected firewood that is the land belonged to everybody. This was the situation what we call as open fields and commons that is the common area where people grazed their cattle, where people did the fishing, collected firewood and the open field system in which everybody is getting a mixture of good and bad land allocated accordingly every year. So there was no dissatisfaction but suddenly started the enclosure movement and as the word suggests enclosure that is enclosing making it somebody's private property. Now why did the enclosure movement start in this century? It so happened that the prices of wool increased in the world market and this led to the people to think that they must improve the sheep breed and also good, give good feed to their sheep which meant that they had to enclose land, they had to actually also grab away the land which was considered as common and which had to be actually cultivated and looked after by somebody considered to be his private property. So all the open fields and the common system that they had that is the common area disappeared which meant lot of dissatisfaction to the poorer section of the society which now had no place to graze their cattle or collect their firewood and this led to a revolt against the new system against the new agricultural implements like threshing machines which were reducing the need of manpower. And when the new agricultural implements started coming in England, it led to a big rise in the revolt of the peasants. To add to their worries, 4000 acts were passed by the British Parliament to legalize such enclosures. So the story becoming very interesting, I continue with it in the next clipping.